Going to go with the Golden State Warriors in seven games. I think they're a great team. They've been a great team. They won 73 regular season games for a reason. NBA Finals MVP being Stephen Curry. Looking like a trap when I walk in the building. That mean I got something expensive. No, my friends, they kill All these hoes are killing. Hello and welcome to James Carter TV, here to recap Game 6 of the 2016 NBA Finals, a game in which the Cleveland Cavaliers won and pretty much dominated most of the game, 115 to 101. And I'm really surprised the Warriors even got to 101 because of how poorly they started this game. At one point, they were down about 23 to 9, or maybe even 26 to 9, early in the first quarter, but they hung around. They made a little bit of a surge in the third quarter leading into the fourth. But at the end of the day, they were down for just too long in the game. They couldn't come back from that ridiculous start. You know, they ended up being down in this game at one point, I believe 24 points, maybe even 26 points. It's really hard to come all the way back. And a couple things, a couple takeaways I have from this game. Number, number one, let's talk about LeBron James. This is what I was talking about. Guys, he can dominate. Look how good he's been the past two games. It's great. He deserves credit for that. The problem is, why weren't you like this before? There's really no reason. Literally, no one on the Warriors can stop this guy. Nobody. Andre Iguodala has a back issue now, but even before now... He hasn't really been that good of a defender this series. Draymond Green was checking out of this game. Uh, no one can defend LeBron James on this Warriors team. He's consistently getting to the rim when he wants to. He may not finish 100% of the time, but at least 70% of the time. He's hitting outside shots. He's actually trying outside shots, and he's hitting outside shots now. You're seeing post fadeaways. You're seeing him shoot. How many, uh, how many shots did he shoot today? LeBron James shot 27 shots today. He made 16 of them. Where were was this earlier in the series was he just sleeping or what he deserves credit but my question is you could have done this before and not be down 3-1 you could be this could have been the game this could have been the series right here <coughs> excuse me if he could play this way in let's say game four it was a close game they needed him in the fourth quarter they could have won game five, won game six. The series is over. There's no conversation to be had today. He didn't do it up to this point, and I really don't understand why, but maybe he'll get away with it. Let's move on to the Warriors' point of view today. Stephen Curry, 30 points today. You know, some people say LeBron James win MVP no matter what happens in this series. I disagree. I'm, I'm someone that believes when your team wins, you pick an MVP from your team. Yeah, LeBron James has been the best player in this series. Who cares? He's not the most valuable player for the winning team. He shouldn't win the damn the thing to me. It just it looks so weird seeing Warriors uh, defeat Cleveland Cavaliers in the history books. MVP LeBron James. That doesn't make any sense. If you're most valuable in a series, it's because you won the series. That's just common sense to me. You think Chauncey Billups was the best player on the court in 2004? You think? In 2000 and, uh, well, what's another good compare? Oh, 2013 uh, or 2014, uh, Kawhi Leonard. I mean, yeah, but LeBron James is still the best player on the court. He's still playing the best even in those finals. I mean, you can go finals after finals. They're not always the best player. You win the championship and you pick the best player from your team during that series. That's what you do to me. And especially last year, Andre Godella won. He averaged, what, maybe 20 point something points per game? Maybe. Steph Curry averaging 24-25. If they win, he's the MVP. There's no discussion to me. All right, we move on. I thought the officiating today was absolutely 
god awful and it was really showcased at the end of the game the most significant part of the game the warriors are trying to come back in the fourth quarter steph curry has five fouls he gets a foul him and lebron james are going after a loose ball steph curry poked it out a bit lebron james is now behind stephen curry and stephen curry is called for the foul as he reaches for the ball that is up here one of the worst calls i've ever seen Next call, Clay Thompson shooting a three. Does lean in forward a bit, but Tristan Thompson draws a foul by running into his elbow and then going down. I've never seen a call like that in my life. If on a three-point shot, getting called for an offensive foul? Have you ever seen anything like that? Shooters have priority. You have to give, if anything, it's a no call. But you can't, you can't be serious calling a three-point shooter for an offensive foul. He's allowed to shoot in whatever motion he wants, even if he's leaning in a bit. At worst, it's a no call, uh, but you can't call that on Clay. And then the last one, LeBron James has the ball near half court at the corner. He has the ball out there. Draymond Green reaches for it, really doesn't touch LeBron much at all, called for the foul. I've never seen three consecutive calls so poorly in my life. And it went both ways, but that was just the most egregious and sacrilegious uh, misstep to me today. Those three consecutive plays officiating was god-awful tonight, and it played a factor. Not, not much of it. The, Warriors, the Cavaliers still would have won the game, but I just I found that to be so annoying. I couldn't believe it. Kyrie Irving, after having 20 points in the first half, only had three in the second half, had a little bit of an injury. When cold, so I'll be interested to see how that could uh, develop. J.R. Smith playing a lot better, had a hell of an alley oop pass, uh, no look pass to LeBron James, had a great three, or a couple great threes, uh, still has some clown in him, like he had a shot clock violation, a couple turnovers, whatever, but he's playing a lot better. You look at Clay Thompson, you know, a guy that is really up and down, started this game 0 for 7 from 3. It's been a cold series for him. He ended up 3 for 10. He needs to play better. And the Warriors bench and supporting cast, we give them a lot of credit for winning game 1, and they did. They're doing nothing now. Andre Ugudala is such a detriment offensively. He was 2 of 5 today, 1 of 3 from 3, missed two key free throws to me. He had a back problem. He was minus 25 when on the court. That is bad. You look at Draymond Green. How many people Colin Cowherd yesterday were saying, oh, Draymond Green's the most valuable player for the Warriors. No, he's not. And people keep overrating Draymond Green. The guy can't create his own shot. He can't. He can drive every now and then. He's a pretty good driver. You put him on Detroit, Utah, Lakers, Clippers, anything. He can't average 20 points per game. He can't. He cannot do it. He's not versatile offensively and defensively. He couldn't stop LeBron. He's good, but he's not that good. Relax. It showed today. You have uh, Stephen, oh no, Sean Livingston, who people love. Oh my God, Sean Livingston on a 20 point game. I came here, I told you. Sean Livingston is a role player, nothing more. People are saying he'd be a starting point guard for half the teams in the NBA. Are you drunk? He's been a starting point guard for half the teams in the NBA. Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Orlando, blah, 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 blah. And he's sucked over and over and over again. He's a role player, and today he wasn't a very good one. Had three points, was one of six, had four rebounds and three assists. Nice there, but not much more than that. Harrison Barnes has checked out of this series. This guy today, 0 of 8, after being 2 of 14 in the last game, he can't make a 3 and he's going to go into free agency and he's going to get paid a max contract for what? I don't know. He's unaggressive. He's not versatile. He's poor. I mean, maybe not poor, but definitely not strong defensively. Nothing more than an average player. 
defensively doesn't have a superstar or even star or even starter mentality throughout most of the game can't really create his own shot what are we talking about here the Warriors team was never that as stacked as people were making them out to be. It was Steph, and it was Clay, and it was a bunch of contributors. And they're all contributors. The, right now, the best person off the bench is Leandro Barbosa, who keeps coming in and getting some nice points off of the bench. He had 14 today, and he's made about 70% of his shots in this series. He's been the best one off this bench. Uh, but... I don't know why Steve Kerr is playing Anderson Verizal. This guy is lost out there. Festus Izeli offers way more. Anderson Verizal just flops and flails around, and he has his hair bouncing up and down like he's a clown or a slender man or something. I don't know what he is, but he stinks. Festus Izeli needs to be playing more than, uh, honestly, uh, more than Anderson Verizal. You miss Andrew Bogut. Fine, play Festus Izeli because... Honestly, he's Andrew Bogut. A worse of a passer, but the same guy otherwise play Festizelli. I, I don't know why that was a big struggle for them today. So you look at all of that. You look at the Game 7 of this series. You saw the intro. I picked the Warriors to win in seven games. Now, when they were up 3-1, I picked them to win game five. I was wrong. I picked them to win game six. I was wrong. <laughs> but, hey, I had them winning in seven. I should have just stuck with my prediction from the beginning. Will they win game seven? Well, I'm going to tell you tomorrow. I have a whole video coming up on who will win game seven of the 2016 NBA Finals. So stick around. Subscribe for that. But... Things are not looking good for the Golden State Warriors, and I'm not so sure that I'm going to stick with them yet again for the third straight game in Game 7. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.